Namaste and welcome everyone. It's such an honor and pleasure to be here with you today. I'm very excited because as you know, I've been doing the Every Planet and Every Nakshatra series starting with the moon and I'm gonna make that into a book. But for many years, I've been doing transit videos with Dr. Pai's channel and on my channel. And my favorite student while I'm working on this new area of research on my book is going to be covering a lot of these major transits on my channel. You may be familiar with her with her lunar cycle transits, which I've already shared. Uh, but she's going to be discussing some much more significant transits, uh, including Saturn's upcoming transit in Aquarius today. So I'd like to welcome you, Bhavani Das. Namaste. Namaste, Shanati. Thank you so much for having me on your channel. Um, it's a thrill to be here, and I'm very honored and humbled. And I'm looking forward to putting out, you know, many transit videos. Um for the up and coming um, transits that will be happening in 2023. Lots of planets are shifting positions. And so thank you for giving me this opportunity to share today um, our Saturn um, video that um, I also have on my channel, which is Bhavani Vedic Astrology. And um, Yeah, I'm going to share with you um, my screen right now. Yeah, so today we're going to be discussing um, the Saturn video in Aquarius for all 12 ascendants. And as you know, Saturn has been in the sign of Capricorn. Um, he's been in the sign of Capricorn, which is very restrictive. Um, and, um, you know, gave us some really tough and hard lessons. Um, so in Aquarius, we should find some relief with that. And the... Saturn's transit in Aquarius is happening on um, January 18th, 2023 through March 20, March 30th, 2025. So he'll be there for about two years. Again, thank you, Shanati, for having me on your channel. And um, I do have my own Vedic astrology channel on the YouTube. And I am doing live Jyotish readings via Zoom. So you can call me on my number here on the screen or text me on this number. and um, leave me a message and we can schedule a reservation for your reading. You can also contact me at Bhavani Vedic Astrology at gmail.com. And please visit my Facebook and YouTube pages for my videos and um, updates. And please like and subscribe. I would love your support as I'm just entering this whole world of technology. So Saturn transits Aquarius for about two years, starting again on January 18th, 2023 through March 30th, 2025. He will be retrograding, which means that he appears to be stopping, slowing down almost to a standstill um, during the summer months, which is typical. Um, these dates I have for 2023 are June 17th through November 4th. And then again, in 2024, he'll be retrograding June 30th through November 15th. So the energies will seem to be slowing down during that time. So Saturn entering Aquarius is in a Mula Tricona position, which is a root position for Saturn. It's a natural place. He can actually deliver much better energies than almost an exalted position of Saturn. And so here um, we have a very strong humanitarianistic movements that will be ha happening. Most of the collective will be about being team players and helping each other, um, contributing to humanity. Um, also, Aquarius is a, a very intelligent sign, and Saturn moving into Aquarius will give us um, some progressive, innovative um, medical scientific discoveries. So advancement in the medical field, maybe people will be going towards more holistic health. Ayurveda might be on the rise. Pranayama, which is breathing exercises. We might find discoveries in um, frequencies and how they can help us. Um, New social media platforms could 
um, develop, like a brand new internet platform could happen, uh, new social media platforms, right? Um, so then we can share and connect with large groups of people. You know, Aquarius is also about, you know, finding our tribe and our friends um, outside of our family and um, connecting with them. Um, Saturn is going to allow us for the next um, two years during this transit to work very hard to fulfill our dreams and desires. He's a taskmaster. He is a slow moving planet. So um, he delays, but he never denies. So if you put the hard work in, he will reward you. Um, you must put the effort in and then you will be reaped the rewards of your dreams and desires fulfilled. Um, so think of it as a sense of, you know, slow and steady wins the race, right? He is the planet of karma. So karma meaning actions, um, we'll all have certain actions and, um, things that will happen to us the next two years. And, um, without further ado, let's see what Saturn Aquarius has for the Aries ascendant. So for Aries ascendant or Aries moon placement, um, Saturn is going to be transiting the 11th house. The 11th house is a house of long-term dreams and desires. It's Aquarius's um, natural home. And so all things will be amplified here. Um, working hard, again, could achieve your long-term dreams and desires. Um, networking with large social groups. You might find that you're refining some of your friends and people that you network with. Like, are they toxic? Are they for your best interest? Um, and you might be, you know, just finding out that you're eliminating some people from your, um, from your social circles at this time, um, working with large groups of people and communicating with large groups of people. Um, I can definitely see that happening, happening, working on existing skills or learning new skills at, um, is also something that's presented for the, uh, Saturn and Aquarius for the Aries ascendant. So I see a very good transit there, um, you know, really focusing on your network circles and who's there that is going to really be there for you and serving you for your highest good. And if not, you know, um, you know, removing those people from your network. And Saturn and Aquarius for the Taurus Ascendant, which is happening in the 10th house. So the 10th house is... Um, a natural placement for work and working hard. Again, Saturn is going to make you work very hard and you must be committed to attain all the benefits that Saturn will bestow upon you. Um, this could lead to name and fame, depending you know, how Saturn is in your personal chart. So if you need a personal reading for the Taurus Ascendant or the Taurus Moon placement, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Um, changing career, or challenges in your profession. Um, I also see that could be happening. Um, the 10th house is that of also your ego. So we must have a very humbling ego with the karma that Saturn might bestow on us for the next two years. Saturn in Aquarius for the Gemini Ascendant. This is happening in the ninth house. So the ninth house is a house of the guru, the teacher. Um, and also of morals and ethics, right? So we must maintain our morals and ethics. And, you know, Saturn is a very strict um, planet. And so he's going to encourage us to do that. Um, also connecting, networking with people from foreign lands. The Mount Paris represents foreign lands, long distance travel. So you may be traveling to foreign lands as well as connecting and networking with people from foreign lands finding a guru or a spiritual teacher perhaps on a retreat of some sort that you might be going on. And then also the ninth house represents your father in Vedic astrology. So just take a look out for your father's health um, for all the Gemini moon placements and Gemini ascendants. Um, Want to make sure that our father is good. Um, and, you know, being humbled during this transit, it looks like it's going to be a good one for the Gemini Ascendant in the ninth house, which also is a luck house. And so, you know, we may be lucky. And, um, you know, again, slow and steady wins the race. Don't try to rush ahead. And I'm sure Saturn will bestow 
some excellent opportunities for the Saturn in Aquarius or the Cancer Ascendant. It's going to be happening in the eighth house. The eighth house is a dark house. Um, it is a house of death and transformation. It's also a house of um, occult studies, astrology, Ayurveda, mysticism. This is a great time for Cancer Ascendants, Cancer Moons to really dive into astrology, get an astrological reading, um, uh, learn about Ayurveda, learn about the occult and mysticism. You know, it's a great time to do tons of research. So researching um, on any topic related to eighth house subjects is awesome. Um, it also could mean, you know, maybe a death. Uh, unfortunately, hopefully nobody loses a family member during this transit, but we all know that we live to die. And so, um, you know, take care of our family members. We may have something unexpected happen. The eighth house is also very unexpected things. Um, we also could have metaphorical death, that of a job or a friend. You know, again, uh, Aquarius is the sign of our social circle and our network groups and people that are outside of our family. And so, um, you know, Saturn is going to have you reevaluate all those people that are in your circle. Um, you might be receiving some insurance or inheritance money, um, other people's money, um, however that should come. And there might be a delay in receiving that money. And during this time, you know, the eighth house is a house of addictions. Um, so please take care of your health. And, you know, if you need to seek counsel, please seek counsel with a therapist or an astrologer. You know, we can be prone to addictions of all sorts. Um, food is a thing also, you know, sex or drugs. So please take care with, um, again, Saturn is very moral and ethical planet. You know, um, we need to take care of, you know, ourselves and keep ourselves, you know, in the best and present ourselves as our best person. Oh, shoot, I missed one. Excuse me. Okay, so for Saturn and Aquarius, for the Leo Ascendant, it's happening in the seventh house. The seventh house is that of marriage and business partnerships. So there could be challenges at work. So take care of your business partnerships and people that want to go into business with you this year could definitely be highlighted. Um, starting up a new business perhaps um, also could be highlighted. Um, so take care to make sure that, you know, you let people know what you need out of this business partnership. Um, it's also a house of marriage. So there might be issues and troubles with your marriage and your spouse at this point. Um, Saturn is going to, you know, show a lot of karma in this house of, you know, business partnerships and your marriage or spouse. Um, it can show, again, Aquarius working with large groups of people, your social networks, even, you know, media platforms, expanding that. Um, I see giving lectures you know, um, working with, talking to, communicating with large groups of people on your social media platforms. Um, for the Leo Ascendant, it looks like um, it might, you know, pose to have some challenges, but just take care. Again, Saturn is a very humbling planet. Um, Saturn and Aquarius for the Virgo Ascendant will be happening in the sixth house. And um, so the sixth house with Saturn there, he's going to help us conquer our enemies. And our enemies could be that of a competitor, you know, or a coworker. Like if you're going out for a job and, you know, you have competition there, it's kind of like your enemy. And so, um, you know, you could see that or, you know, a coworker at your job could be disgruntled with you and, you know, making complaints. However, Saturn is a malefic planet and he will help you fight in the sixth house. Um, he's also going to help you with long-term daily routines, such as a diet, um, incorporating meditation in the morning and at nighttime, mantras, even like yoga, like um, physical activity is also a daily routine. So an exercise regimen, if it's not yoga, um, so this is going to help for long-term daily routines. Um, 
and he's going to help you if anything should come up as a chronic disease or any kind of disease or disorder that might come up during this time for the Virgo ascendance. Um, Saturn will help you overcome. Uh, again, he will is a malefic, but he will uh, being in the sixth house. He will fight for your health um, in the sixth house as well as help conquer enemies. Um, and any kind of early stages of diseases that should show up during this time for a uh, Virgo ascendants or Virgo moons, um, you'll be able to catch them in the beginning. Um, and with the proper medical care, you'll be able to overcome them. And it could just be something as easy as like acid reflux. So kind of just monitoring the foods that we eat. Um, we must make an effort, of course, in working to achieve our income. So it is daily routine house. Um, and a daily routine is getting up in the morning, you know, doing yoga, meditating, um, and going to work. And so we're going to have to make a strong effort in going to work, uh, achieving um, our income and working hard for the money this year, the next two years while Saturn is in the sign of Aquarius. And so Saturn in Aquarius for the Libra Ascendant, it's happening in the fifth house. The fifth house is a great house. The fifth house is that of um, creativity. It's that of romantic partnerships, children. And so it's also speculative gains. So we may gain through long-term stock investments. Um, we, we might have some issues with our children or our children just may really be needy at uh, this, this point for us. And so we need to be there to support our children during the next two years. Um, they could have some struggles going on. So, you know, again, just being attentive to our children. And we could also take advanced education courses for a Libra Ascendant. It's also a great time for research for them. Um, if there's something that you've always dreamed or desired that you wanted to become and never had the time or the opportunity, maybe the Saturn in Aquarius will give you um, the possibility to take some advanced education courses to um, further your studies along. And then Saturn is the slow mover. So being in the fifth house, you know, your creativity might just be stifled a little bit. Um, and so you might not feel very, you know, creative when it comes to different projects. Uh, however, you know, two years and Saturn will be moving again. And let's see for Saturn and Aquarius for the Scorpio Ascendant. It's happening in the fourth house. The fourth house is that of the home and the mother land and property. So Saturn, again, is, you know, working really hard and long term, something that will pay out later long-term land or home investments, you know, buying a home right now. Um, I could see that happening for Scorpio ascendants or Scorpio moon signs. You also could be faced with challenges or issues at the home with your family, with your mother. Um, uh, it just could, you know, have a lot of issues at home, um, which, um, you know, I see that if you're investing or moving to a new home, you know, that is benefit receiving a loan and getting a new home moving is also I see that happening for Scorpio. So those are all positive. So if there is issues at home, maybe you're moving out arguing with your mother and father all the time. You know, I see that having a long term investment, getting a home, getting a loan is all positive. Um, of course, the fourth house also represents your mood and your mind. So you could see, you know, Saturn could bring some somberness to you know your your thought process and you know you may have some depression and you may have a lot of mental stress with this Saturn on the fourth house of your mind and your mood um take care again Scorpio ascendance and Scorpio moon placements if you are feeling depressed please seek counsel a therapist a, a counselor somebody that could help you with some of the heavy emotions that you might be dealing with while Saturn is in this transit of Aquarius. Um, you can also seek an astrologer um, and they could help also. Um, so definitely communicating and, you know, expanding your social networks, especially if you need some help, don't hesitate to ask for help. Saturn in Aquarius for the Sagittarius Ascendant. So Saturn is moving and um, is moving into the third house. 
The third house has to do with communications and the way you express yourself. You might, uh, you know, have some issues or challenges with communicating. Um, be careful of your speech and how you talk to people. It may come across very cold and calculating. Saturn is that of, you know, detached type of planet. So you could be a little bit detached of, you know, the way you're expressing yourself and how you're making others feel in your presence. So again, you could have some sort of cold speech could be happening. Um, and so just take care of how you speak, think twice before you say things. Um, also the third house is, is that of learning a new technical skill, you know, um, studying, you know, being a student of something um, and a new skill, uh, you know, Aquarius is that of technicals um, and scientific research. So, you know, studying um, some sort of scientific research, um, developing new technical skills to support you in your career. Um, also the third house represents neighbors. Um, you might have issues with your neighbors or your neighbors might be going through some challenging times. You know, maybe the Saturn is impacting, you know, their fourth house or something. And so you might need to be there and support them. Um, so again, take care of how you communicate with people and um, large groups of people and also your neighbors. Um, the third house also represents some short distance travel is in the future for the next two years. So you might be be bopping around and doing little like day trips and short distance travels and, you know, learning new skills. I see that it's going to be a pretty chill ride for Saturn and Aquarius for the Sagittarius moon and ascendants. Um, Saturn and Aquarius for the Capricorn ascendant. Capricorn could find a little bit of um, relief now that um, it's not traveling on its first house. It's now moving into the second house. So um, we might have some unexpected financial setbacks. So Saturn in the second house could restrict our finances in some way um, or just have income just come in slower. Um, however, you know, doing and making investments right now um, for the next two years that will yield gains later. So long-term investments, putting money into a stock or an investment that, you know, may not pan out like in a couple of weeks, but in a few years or 10 years, you know, you may be able to reap the rewards of this transit. So making investments now that will yield the gains later is definitely in the cards. Um, you may be having um, issues with uh, family. Your family values might be changing at this time. So you might be acquiring some knowledge that is allowing you to be a little bit more freedom loving and a little bit more of a humanitarianist. And, you know, maybe your family is very conservative and they have these rigid family belief values and your mind is expanding a little bit. And um, so I see family values are changing for you during the next two years. Also, take care with your food choices and beware of bad food habits and oral hygiene. So make sure that we're, you know, doing our daily routines, waking up, brushing our teeth really good, eating really yummy, healthy foods, anything that's stale or been left in the refrigerator, just don't eat it. It could, you know, lead to problems and health issues and we don't want that. And, you know, you might also be subjected to wanting to, you know, binge out on a whole bunch of junk food right now. So let's not eat the junk food and let's be very cautious of our health because our health is our wealth. And so please make very good food choices because Saturn and Aquarius in the second house could have us, you know, just picking and choosing things that are not for our highest good. Saturn and Aquarius for Aquarius Ascendant. This is happening in your first house. Yay! So this is going to affect your physical body. So the first house is your physical body, how you look. So let's say in the past, you know, few years with the pandemic and COVID, you gained some weight. You could be really focused on changing your physical body and your appearance, like working out and exercising. Um and so that is positive, you know, working on your diet, that's going to affect your physical, you know, body. Um, maybe you're doing your hair different. Um, you know, maybe you're getting some plastic surgery done, a little Botox or something. Sharing knowledge with the collective. 
So Aquarius and uh, Saturn in Aquarius is just going to exalt this nature and amplify the fact that you have so much wisdom and sharing your knowledge with the collective is going to be crucial and you're going to want to do this. Your desire to communicate with large groups of people and expand your social networks are going to be on the rise. So you're going to want to reach out to many people and large groups of people and share your knowledge and communicate with them and network with them and see how you can help them and how they can help you and help other people and help the collective. And, and it looks like you might have your desires and wishes might be fulfilled for the next two years. Um, Saturn is, again, the slow mover. So slow and steady unfolding of your dreams and wishes fulfilled you could see at the end of this transit that Saturn bestows his blessings upon you. Saturn and Aquarius for the Pisces Ascendant. This happening in the 12th house. The 12th house is that of long distance travel. So Pisces love to be around large bodies of water. So going to the beach or the ocean, traveling long distance to faraway places, like perhaps a spiritual retreat where you're expanding on your tribe, your network, your social group. You know, finding people that are more like-minded and spiritual and, um, you know, connecting with them and bringing people together also. Um, it's also letting go of existing beliefs on religion or maybe on some philosophy that you've acquired over the last couple of years. Um, or maybe a religion that you grew up with that maybe now you're seeing um, that your belief system is really expanding and it's um, no longer that of a dogmatic religion, but that of, you know, maybe, uh, you know, learning astrology and understanding astrology and the cult and the wisdom behind it. And, you know, learning about that too. So letting go of existing beliefs um, and studying and learning about, you know, astrology and mysticism, you know, um, it also could impact um, money and, you know, your family. So working hard to, um, you know, earn your money, you know, that we might be experiencing some losses, you know, 12th house represents some losses. So unexpected expenses, maybe you're traveling a lot and you're losing money from traveling. Maybe your family is getting neglected or they feel like, you know, you're detached from them because you are traveling. Um, or maybe you just want to meditate and kind of isolate and be on your own you know, and contemplate the world, you know, meditation is a strong 12th house thing too. So, um, you know, just, um, I think that the Pisces ascendant for the Saturn and Aquarius, um, it's going to be good just, you know, being in touch with your spiritual side and, um, you know, working hard for your money because we could see some losses and, um, you know, we might be also a little detached from our friends and family, but Saturn and Aquarius is going to hopefully help us reach out and, you know, expand our tribe. Again, I just want to thank you for your support. Thank you for letting me share on this channel um, with Shanati. And also I'm posting this on my channel as well. So please like and subscribe to my channel, Bhavani Vedic Astrology, and contact me now. Please text me on my number or email me at bhavanibedicastrology at gmail.com and we can do a live Jyotish reading via Zoom. Um, you know, find me on Facebook also and I would love your support during this time and blessings to everybody for Saturn and Aquarius and we should feel a little bit relief after Saturn is leaving the sign of Capricorn. So many blessings to all of you in the Jyotish community. Thank you for joining me today. Namaste.